My grandfather started, Leonard Green started the business uh, 75 years ago, 1946. Um, you know, I'm proud to say I'm the third generation of the Green family that's had a leadership role there and, and really looking forward to, under our new ownership, carrying that legacy forward. Another legacy that, uh, that Leonard was involved with was the pioneering and founding of Corporate Angel Network. This is a charitable organization that provides lift for cancer patients. They are just celebrating their 40th anniversary as well. Um, and to date, you know, it's amazing. They've, they've flown over 55,000 cancer patients. So uh, big year for uh, anniversaries in the aerospace business between Safe Flight and CAN and our Corporate Angel Network and AIN. So about 52 years ago, uh, Safe Flight hired a fresh out of college, young, uh, enthusiastic sales representative uh, named Wilson Leach. So fortunately for Aviation International News and all of the, uh, you know, the supporters and fans of that publication, uh, Safe Flight realized pretty quickly that Wilson was obviously a great salesman, but maybe not of uh, aerospace products. So Wilson left. You know, this was his first job out of college. Was at Safe Flight, uh, and so he went on to start, you know, Aviation International News. One of the things that, um, that, that's really kept me engaged with the aerospace industry is their willingness and ability to give back. So whenever there are crises globally throughout the world, uh, the aerospace industry is always there to support, whether it's humanitarian, um, you know, dating back to the earthquake in Haiti, uh, the current conflict in Ukraine, uh, Hurricane Sandy. Uh, aerospace, and especially corporate and business jets, are always in the background providing humanitarian support, whether it's financial or lift or, or however they can uh, help out. Uh, and then you've got organizations like NBAA and uh, the Wings Club. Uh, the Wings Club, they provide scholarships annually to the next generation of leaders straight out of college. So, um, you know, it's an it's a industry that is always supporting itself, it's always building itself up, and it's always, you know, taking itself to the next generation.